Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are going to learn what is a propositional logic. Now in this session we will understand these topics. The first one, propositions, conjunction and the distinction. Now first let us understand what is a logic. Now it is an analysis of language which consists of signs and also logic it is a set of rules or axioms which we can use to draw valid conclusions. Now let us understand what is a statements or what is a propositions. Now statements are kinds of sentences which we have to use to convey our thoughts to others. Now a sentence of which it is meaningful to say whether it is true or false but not both is called a statement or propositions. Now a statement it is a declarative sentence which is either true or false but it cannot be both as we said earlier. Now we denote the statements by P, Q, R and S just small P, Q, R and S. Now let us take some of the examples. Now first see we will first list out all the examples and we will check whether it is a statement or not and whether it is true or not. So the first one is Pune is capital of India. Then second one, Mars is a planet. Then third one, uh, nine is greater than thirteen. Then fourth one, uh, y plus eight equals to twelve. Then next, now six belongs to one two three four. The given set six belongs to one two three four. Uh, now x belongs to a. Then there are twelve months in a year. Then when is your exam? Then, uh, what a beautiful painting. And last one, this statement is false. So these are the examples and now we will conclude which of them are a statement and which of them are true and which of them are false. Now the first one, see Pune it is a capital of India. Now it is a statement. Now it is true or false. Yes, it is a statement but it is the false one because it is not a capital of India. Now second, now mass is a planet. Uh, is it a statement first? Yes, it is a statement and it is a true one or false one. So it will be the true statement. Now next, 9 is greater than 13. Yes, it is a statement. But we know that 9 is not greater than 13. So it is the false statement. Now next, y plus 8 equals to 12. Now is it a statement? Now what is a statement? If it has a truth value or that means if it is either true or false but it cannot be both. Now y plus 8 equals to 12. Now is it a true statement? Now see if we substitute y equals to 4. Okay so that means 4 plus 8 equals to 12. So that will become a true statement. But for the values of y other than uh, this 4 it will be a false statement. So it is a statement because it depends on the value of y. Now see next 6 belongs to 1 2 3 4. Now is it a statement? Yes. But is it a true statement or false statement? But 6 does not belong to 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is a false statement. Now x belongs to a. Now is it a statement or not? It is a statement. But it is a true statement or false statement that we cannot conclude because it depends on what uh, the values of a. So whatever the values are in a and it depends on that. Now there are 12 months in a year. Is it a statement? Uh, there are 12 months in a year. Yes, it is a statement and whether it is true or not. Yes, it is the true one. So it is a true statement. Now, when is your exam? Now, see, you can see that here it is the question mark. So question mark cannot be a statement. So we cannot conclude the truth value. Now, what a beautiful painting. Now, it is an exclamation mark. So it is also not a statement. Now, next, this statement is false. Now is it a statement? This statement is false. Now we cannot assign a true value or a false value. So that means the statement is false. The statement it's not a statement. So it is not a statement. Now, now let us consider what is an open statement. So an open statement is a statement that contains one or more variables such that when certain values are substituted for the variables we get statements okay now let us discuss examples so the first one is uh, 
x plus 7 equals to 9. Now it is a statement, yes it is a statement, but now if we put x equals to 2, then we will get the truth value or it will be true. So x plus 7 equals to 9. So it is an open statement. Now next, 3x plus 2 greater than 8. So it is a statement, yes it is an open statement. Then next, x belongs to a. So it is an open statement. Uh, let us discuss some more examples. Now question, which of the following statements are true and which are false? So the first one, 9 is less than 12. Is it a statement? Just think about it. And true one or false one. Now 2 is a prime number. Then third, then third, 41 is a composite number. And then next, 2 plus 5 equals to 3 plus 9. Now let us consider the first statement. Now see, all our statement, but just we need to conclude whether it is true or false. Now 9 is less than 12. So it is a statement. Yes, it is a statement, but it is true or not. Yes, 9 is less than 12. You all know. So it is the true one. Now 2 is a prime number. Now is it a prime number? Yes, it is a prime number and it is, we know that it is the smallest one. So it is also a statement and the true one. Now 41 is a composite number. Is it a composite number? Yes or no? No, it is not a composite number. So it is the false statement. And 2 plus 5 equals to 3 plus 9. Now you can see that 2 plus 5 in left hand side it will be 7 and in right hand side it will not be 7. So that means 12. So it is a false statement because LSS and RHS does not match. So now next another example. Now what type of sentence is x plus 8 equals to 70? Now we know that it is an open statement. Why? Because the value or the truth value depends on x whatever we put okay next which of the following open statements are true okay so it is an open statement so the first one x plus 4 equals to 6 whenever x equals to 2 now if we put x equals to 2 you will get 2 plus 4 equals to 6 so that is correct next x plus 4 does not equal to 6 when x equals to 2 then next, uh, 2x plus 4y equals to 14, whenever x equals to 1, y equals to 3. And the last one, 6 belongs to 4 to x, when x equals to 6. Now see, first one is true, that we discussed. Now second, x plus 4 does not belong to 6, whenever x equals to 2, so that is false. Now third one, 2x plus 4y equals to 14. Now if we put x equals to 1 and y equals to 3, then you will get... Uh, now 2 plus 12 yes you will get 14 so it is the true one and last 6 belongs to 4 to x whenever x equals to 6 yes it is the true state now let us discuss this important topic what is the logical connectives so if there exist two or more statements then they can be combined to produce a new statement and these statements are called compound statements now the logical connectives are used to combine statements now the first logical connective and that is conjunction and uh, its notation is this end uh, it's called end and this is the symbol end now next see what is a conjunction now when two or more statements are combined by the word specific word end then the compound statement is known as the conjunction Okay, again I'm repeating, when two or more statements are combined by the word end, then the compound statement is known as the conjunction. Now, see, let us consider an uh, example. Now, if P and Q are two statements, then the compound statement, it is denoted by the symbol P and Q. And we can also say that this, uh, that is P conjunction Q or P and Q or P meet Q. So this all are equivalent forms. The first one P conjunction Q, P and Q or P meet Q. Now for example, let us take, see consider uh, P equals to the first statement 3 is greater than 2 and second statement 10 is an even number. So we have two statements P and Q. Okay. Now then what will be the P and Q or P conjunction Q? So it will be like this. The first statement is 3 greater than 2 
and the second statement 10 is an even number so we just need to combine them by end so the final statement or the conjunctive statement will be 3 greater than 2 and 10 is an even number simple now next uh, let us consider the P meet likes cricket and the second one uh, Rohan is in 10 standard so what will be P and Q it will be meet likes cricket and simply just put end and Rohan is in 10 standard see here we are not uh, checking whether it is a true statement or false statement or whether they are connected with each other but we can write like this that means P and Q just put end in between now note uh, now see but and while are treated as equivalent words to the end so whenever but and while are there uh, it is same as end or it is same as the conjunction now see P and Q is true only when both statements are true and otherwise it is false now let us consider and this one is yeah it, it was important now what will be the truth table now see we are just taking two statements so the first one is P the second one is Q and the last one P and Q now see there are two statements so we have four possibilities either both the statements are true either both the statements are false one is true another one is false and first one is false and second one is true so in P there will be T T F F and in Q it will be T F T F uh, you can change the order if you want so that means both uh, first two statements are true in second row T F means first one is true second one is false then F T so that means first one is false second one is true then F F that means both are false now see we know that P and Q are true only when whenever both are true so that means the first one T T so that means here both are true so first will be true now see T F both are different so it will be false then F T so it will be false and again both are false so it will be F so in conjunction whenever two statements are true then only it will be true otherwise it will be false now in same manner let us discuss what is a disjunction it is also a logical connective and it is denoted by this OR symbol and its name is OR so when two or more statements are combined by the word OR then the compound statement is known as disjunction so if P and Q are two statements then the compound statement is denoted by this P OR Q and it is also says P disjunction Q or P or Q or P join Q in conjunction it was P meet Q here it is P join Q now, for example consider just taking two examples now P I will purchase a dress and Q I will purchase a book so what will be P or Q or so P or Q it will be just simply put or in between two statements so I will purchase a book or I will purchase address or simply I will purchase a book or address and in same manner consider the second example P uh, meet likes cricket and Q meet likes soccer then P or Q it will be just put or in between two statements so that means meet likes cricket or soccer now note now see P or Q is true only if either P is true or Q is true or both are true again P or Q is true if either P is true or Q is true or both are true and second one P or Q is false if both P and Q are false so the first uh, note is important and second one is also important by for constructing a truth table now let us discuss how to construct a truth table so again there will be two statements P then Q and P or Q so next so again there will be four possibilities both are true both are false one is true another one is false and one is false another one is true so it will be like this now T T C P or Q is true whenever either P is true or Q is true but or both are true so here in first row it will be true because both are true in second it will be true because anyone is true in third anyone is true so again it will be true and in last 
both are false that means it will be false thank you